Hello folks, today we are going to discuss about another real life scenario of planning your VPC CATRs. There are two different ways of doing it. One is the horizontal spanning, another one is vertical spanning. Let us go ahead and see what are the two options and which one you should choose. That is what we are going to look at today. So when you are talking about a VPC, let us consider a scenario where there are a single VPC and two spreading across the two availability zones. Let us say availability zone A and B for simplicity. And here you have a public subnet which is across both the availability zones. Likewise, we also have a private subnet and for our database layer, let us say we have a data subnet. So what we can do here is we can start assigning our IP addresses in the horizontal spanning way. So in horizontal spanning, what we do is we assign an IP address for the first availability zone. Let us say in this case, I'm starting with public subnet 10.00/22. That is going to give me about 1024 IP addresses for my public subnet in availability zone A alone. So horizontal spanning means I will continue the IP addresses on my availability zone B now. So I will start with 80.4.0/22. That is going to give me another 1024 IP addresses. So in total for public alone, I will have a continuous space of IP addresses of spanning 2048 IP addresses. Then likewise, I'll go ahead and do it for my public subnet. I'm see, I'm st continuously starting at eight and then I'm continuing on availability zone at 10.80.12.0. Likewise in data subnet, I will be starting at 16 and then and when I'm going to availability zone B, I'm using the continuous IP, IP space of 20. So you see here, I'm spanning the IP addresses in a horizontal way and I'm moving on to the next subnet and going ahead like this. So is this the right way to spread your IP addresses? Uh, is this how you would do it in your environment? So this is how an horizontal spanning works. So let us talk about vertical spanning. How does it work in vertical spanning? So when you're talking about vertical spanning, what I do is I set my IP addresses on availability zone A completely first for all the three subnets. First, I will go ahead and do it in my public subnet. So I will say 10.80.0 slash 22, that is 1024 IP addresses in my public subnet of availability zone A. And then I go directly to my private subnet in availability zone A. And finally, I go to my data subnet also. Likewise, I complete the availability zone B in the vertical space. So what is the advantages of this one? What is the disadvantages of this one? That is what I am debating over here. If you have any better suggestions on which way we need to do it, I would like you to put it in the comment section so that we can discuss and learn from each other. So in the next video, we will see what are the pros and cons of doing it in the different ways. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.